Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are fighting, um, I mean this entire faction's forces, basically. They're, they're coming at us with everything, which is pretty great, it's pretty great. Um, it, it'll, it'll help things move along a little quicker, I think. We take these guys out, and then we can just, we can just waltz through their territory, provided this battle goes well. Um, so we have used our camp follower, the Egyptian assassin here, so one of these guys will have half health, which will actually help uh, push the balance of power, just immediately, which would be really, really handy. Also, I'm not entirely sure what, what's going on with reinforcements. The last battle we had, reinforcements came in at, like, this really weird staggered uh, pace. It was really strange, just like a trickle of units at a time. It's, it's very odd. I don't quite know what's going on there, but it means that this will only be easier if, um, if that trend continues, so we'll have to wait and see. And, uh, yeah, it should be fun. should be fun. Also, I've got a cup of tea. And so my voice is feeling a bit better again, so hopefully I won't have a coughing fit in the middle of this episode, and uh, I can just comfortably um, talk for another 45 minutes. We'll see. Alright, so what have you got for me? Uh, they are... Oh. <laughs> I saw this. It's the tidal wave ability, because, you know, me and Poseidon are, are tight. Uh, I thought that was this symbol. I thought it was saying where reinforcements are coming. So I thought reinforcements are spawning behind me. And as I was like trying to follow the thing around, it wasn't moving. Because that doesn't move. Um, <laughs> anyway. It's all good. Uh, right, you guys line up there. I'm always tempted just to say, go. Because just that is perfect, actually. You know, that's, that's fine. That'll get them. That'll get them, alright. It's going to take a while, though. I don't like these guys seem to be coming in. Although, is it in traps or are they all coming out? I really don't know. I really have no idea. Not a clue. All right, now you guys line up differently. Um, you are going to charge right down the middle, Memnon. You are going to charge right down the middle. Oh, I hate the Ethiopian spearmen are so injured. These guys are greys. These guys have got great charge bonuses, so I'm going to have them charge those spearmen. Okay, we're going to try and deal with those spearmen in a hurry. Alright, that's the plan. How do you, Why do you think that's a thing you should do? Seriously. Okay, let's get you lot involved. Okay. Okay, let's get you involved, eh? You are so hurt. You need to fall back, mate. You need to fall back. Alright, go deal with those bowmen. And it's going to be ages for that tidal wave. I really was hoping we'd have a tidal wave over here. Just not in the cards, sadly. It's not in the cards. Should be able to hit these guys really nicely, though. Don't like these guys are going to take damage. The way they're going to be taking them, though. Okay, that's going great. So let's get into those archers. And let's also get all you guys on guard mode. Thank you. Yeah, you deal with them. Looks like things are going well over here. So, 30 kills, 70 kills. Uh, a new lot, 30 kills. So yeah, it does seem the staff bearers are getting good damage in there. And, well, that's a bit of a, bit of a mess. Oh, it's still so long if I get the tidal wave ability going. Okay, keep moving. Okay, you guys did great. Let's double back, though. And let's get the giants back as well. Alright, let's get you going. You charging that way, please. Okay. A little scary. So we've got some tribesmen running, but, you know, that's fine. It's to be expected. Still a lot of enemies. I'm glad. Alright, let's try and kill this guy. He's taking... He's taking too long. This guy's taking too long to die. Oh, 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 I see. So we're all... We're all... Friends of Poseidon, huh? Well, two can play this game. See? Yeah, see? <laughs> Turns out Poseidon's a real tart. Jerks. Alright, you guys could 
could move back that way, okay? Come on. Let's start throwing javelins at these jerks. God, look at all these guys. Oh, you guys need to run over here and start chasing down those guys. Have you seriously not killed him? Can you can you even hit him? Like, seriously. Right, just charge into here, okay? Just charge into these soggy, soggy lunatics. And those are my staff bearers. Oh. Gutting. Okay, it looks like we're doing great in here. Memnon only has 70 kills. Uh, the chariots just don't do what they used to, I swear. Okay, Giant's doing great. You guys doing great. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Alright, looks like things are going okay. Okay, come on, guys. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Start swinging. Kill some of these bowmen. Or, you know, all of them, preferably. Kill all the bowmen. Alright, you guys need to get the heck out of there. Uh, where are my javelins? They all ran into melee, didn't they? Yeah, probably. Probably did. Oh, you're alright still. Uh, and, yeah, the rest have used all their ammo. Fine. Yeah, most of them are just chasing enemies off. That's fine. That's fine. It's to be expected. Okay, keep going, guys. Keep going. Need to push the advantage. We're nearly there. Okay, you guys can keep chasing the enemy too. Alright, just leave this guy alone. I'll just get him with my... With my javelins. Seems to be doing a better job. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run away! Alright, we're good. We're good. Uh... I mean, yeah, looks like looks like we're good. That's a victory. That's a victory. Cadmian victory. It certainly was Cadmian. That was rough. Oh. Nice. Oh, seriously? We lost the spearmen and and Nefru infantry. Like we didn't lose them though. Didn't have any units wiped out. They just ran away. So gutting. But uh, yeah, okay. Uh, jet Staff Bearers, absolutely crushing it. 186 and 198 kills. That's better than even our giant vanguards got. And they're giants and were chasing bowmen about for most of the time. Uh, these guys were fighting, like, decent infantry. You know, they were fighting their spears and clubmen and stuff, so it's kind of nuts. Big fan. I like these guys. I like them a lot. Uh, we're going to take them on. Get 10% replenishment. It's better than nothing. And now we should be able to just zip between uh, one army to the next and wipe them all out. In fact, one got wiped out anyway because they were a march stance in that battle. So, yeah, we should be able to just chase these guys down now. And they keep poisoning the well, which is very annoying. Also, Poseidon, he's been busy. He's been busy. Throwing bloody tidal waves of everybody for everybody. Absolute tart. Um, but also, also messing up... Um, Messing up Troy's walls. Very rude. So like a mighty stallion trampling the city underfoot, a powerful earthquake has struck Troy and sent its once proud towers tumbling into the dirt. The garrison has been severely damaged by the disaster, the walls ruined by the earth's relentless shaking. This is surely the work of Poseidon, whose hatred of the Trojan capital is as notorious as it is insatiable. Although the settlement will eventually recover, it is currently vulnerable to swift enemy assault thanks to the machinations of the vengeful Lord of the Deep. Which um, makes absolutely no difference to me. Uh, let's get uh, the lesser griffin, because it's about time we got a bloody griffin. I mean, it's a griffin. How can we not get a griffin? Uh, Pharaoh's servant. Let's see what else we can get. Um, chariot runners. I mean, good. Get some more. More. Uh, uh, jet. Staff bearers, huh? And some more bowmen. And the Ethiopian javelin are good too, so. Yeah, let's get some more of these guys, even though all of this stuff would be great too. Like, chariot runners are probably great in a similar manner. Because, you know, two-handed spear folk with all the all the benefits that we had given our other guys. Uh, and, of course, Thebes being... I mean, that's the capital of Egypt, right? Thebes. So the fact they have, uh, you know, decent armoured troops like this. And chariots as well. Makes a lot of sense. 
So, uh, yeehaw. <laughs> we can get as well. Archers of Wawad. They seem pretty cool. And the Medjai. The Medjai as well. Definitely want to get some of these. Yeah, 120 damage is standard. And then we've got all of the buffs that we've been granting to two-handed spear infantry. So these guys are going to be huge. Also, they are light infantry as well. There's a few other places as well here. God, there's a lot of them, huh? Hupshu, Fidestein Swordsman, the Henku Guards, the Marianu, Sheridan Warriors, Elamite Stone Slingers. There's some great stuff here. Or Elemite, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. But for now, for now, just a bunch of Staff Bearers sounds great. Very cool. So, let's get them. More Staff Bearers, please. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I guess chase him down. Come here, you. Come here, cheeky. That is going to wipe out a unit. I don't want my units wiped out. Thank you. Um, I guess we're fighting it. And, yeah, weather's fine. Uh, so this is good. We have our lesser griffin now, which is very cool. Oh, my God, that reminds me. I've got to actually send my, my mythic expedition off. That's how we'll get our second army. Because we'll have one with a with a griffin in it. Unless I put the, the ancient griffin in Memnon's army at some point. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think maybe we just charge. Honestly. I think, I think we just charge. I think that's the way we do this. I am going to split up the groups a bit, though. Uh... Okay, and then we'll get the giants as well in a separate group. Good. Now we have 8 billion different groups. We should be able to jump in there and start um, causing some havoc. Should be fun. You know, cry havoc and let slip the dog birds of war. Nice. No, no, no. Keep, keep on him. Rawr. I like this guy. Okay, well, can you... can you kill him? Mm, seems like it. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, keep chasing them. I uh, don't know where they're going. They're a bit confused. I mean, I don't blame them. Ooh, what's going on up here? Oh, a little temple with a little, um, a, a bum chimney. That's fun. Okay, you go chase them down. The you guys are doing great. Lesser Griffin's taking some damage, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Hades has oh, yep. Enemy hero. Some good hero claiming. Always always a big fan. Uh, they've run, right? Yeah, they're shattered as hell. Cool. That's everybody. Oh, no. Reinforcements are here. God damn it. Reinforcements. How dare they? Alright. Let's get you guys in. And got all our uh, jet guys. Okay, go get them. Everyone, start shooting. You guys are doing great. Uh, I guess you guys can just keep chasing those archers. Yeah, they're coming back. Of course they are. Uh, where's my other giant? There he is. Alright, let's get you over here. And we're doing fine over here. Sort of. Oh, yeah, we can lower all of their stats. Perfect. Yeah, everyone keep keep throwing. Keep throwing your javelins. Oh, yeah, they don't like that at all. Don't like that one bit. Yeah, they're all running. This guy's still going, amazingly. These guys are still going. Alright, go, go get them, boys. Go get them. Okay. Things are looking alright. Oh, you're going to be able to actually hit this guy. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's get these guys the tidal wave. <laughs> Good times. Alright, giants, get in there. Griffin, get in there. You guys, just keep... Um, keep at it. Yeah, you guys wiped out your target. Really just this guy refuses to quit. 
Oh, and I guess these guys too. Anything? There we go. And you guys, surely you're not going to stick around. There we go. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Ooh, a henge. Love a good henge. Especially a stone one. Decisive victory. And we lost 20. 20 men. Pathetic. My knowledge grew. Not even worth fighting. Like, seriously. Memnon. So, Silver Mirror, we can actually attack Lapa this turn. Uh, oh no. Tell me you're not. Tell me you're not besieging it. I actually can't tell. Remember your training. Maybe he already did? I really have no idea. I mean, it seems we're fine. Um, I can just auto-resolve this and call that a bit. Time to test our skill. Ooh. Oh, oh. Yep, off it pops. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so raise and kill. Gets the most resources. And it gives actually extra damage and melee attack, which is kind of good. Uh, I feel like we might already have some of that going. Um, or maybe not. I mean, extra horde growth is kind of nice too. And the casualty replenishment rate we do kind of need. We have had a lot of battles. This city story ends here. So that's fine. Inferos that's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. And then we'll move on to uh, make Ares a fan of us. Then we get a bunch of food. And then a bunch of wood. I mean, we already have so much food. That's why I'm thinking maybe we... Um, we call in some more folk. Oh, look, hang on. Already called reinforcements from another region. Yeah, okay. I've just found something that's a little bit strange. I think if you couldn't afford somewhere at the time that you called reinforcements, if you can then afford it later in that turn, you still have access to it. Yeah, we just called reinforcements twice in, in one turn, I think. And it takes another three? Huh. So we just take a place that costs, takes three turns, does it? Interesting. Oh well. Pharaoh will be pleased. Well, I hope Pharaoh's pleased. Probably. Do I hope that? I really don't know. Um. So charge or morale? I guess charge. Uh, and we can go the lower upkeep with the Nefru of a tree. So do we really need those anymore? I don't feel like this is really doing anything anymore. Just in the Say's territory. Which one is the Say's territory, anyway? That one. Yeah, so it's only the cheapest unit, so it is good. Yeah. That was probably a little short-sighted. I probably should have aimed for something a little better. Because, uh, let's see, that's the... Hang on. That's the Say's territory. And that's the Napata territory. Which is the Ethiopian spearmen and hunters, right? So, Ferris Servant, Napata. Yeah, okay. So, none of these guys matter either, actually. So, that's fine, too. But I do need to give something a level up. So, let's have a look. Let's get... Uh, we never did get throw a rock or anything, because that's all stuff that we can only do on foot, and we're not on foot. So, who cares? Uh, extra armor for the hero. Missile resistance. Melee defense. Morale for the hero. Hero becomes unbreakable, which is... Yes, don't care. Hero frightens nearby units. I quite like that. I quite like that. Not a chariot. Um, extra casualty punishment rate or extra while encamping. I like. Let's do that. Because I'm pretty sure encamp stance doesn't actually take any additional movement. We can just do it whenever. So this should actually put up our replenishment rate. And it hasn't. Okay, I think that skill point might be busted. Because extra... Casualty replacement rate while in a camp stance didn't do anything. Because his armies don't get extra replenishment. But you wouldn't. You would have thought that would be. Of course. Outside. Oh my god, are you kidding me? If we go into a camp stance, we have less. We actually have less. Um, replenishment. So I'm actually losing replenishment by going to a camp stance. That's real broken. That's not how that should work. So we just wasted a skill point, basically. Because that's clearly a bit broken. So I'll be sure to report that. Because that doesn't... That, yeah. There's no reason to have that. Um, that's not how that should function. So that's a shame. 
Unless, of course, it's just like, it's it's a bonus that is one that gives you some additional replenishment when you're encamped, but because this negates all your other bonuses, it still works out less, but it means that if you want the fatigue reduction and the extra morale, then yeah. But it's a weird way to translate encampment, because every other faction benefits more from being encamped. So to have something that actually lets you benefit from being encamped, but not as much as if you didn't anyway, it's just, eh, it doesn't really help. Uh, although we will be going to um, encamp stance anyway, because there is actually a bunch of stuff that I want to build. So, you know. Uh, extra charge and melee attack for all my units. Sounds lovely. Let's build that. And, um... Yeah, it just costs a bunch of wood. Which, uh, we will be able to get a bunch here. We get almost 5,000 for destroying that, which will actually be incredibly good for us. Um, I do like they're doing more mythic units, but there just aren't any mythic unit, um, you know, settlements nearby. So there's no point. So let's grab that, because I can afford it. Good enough reason. Uh, someone wants to trade bronze for wood, and I'm fine with that. I would appreciate the wood. I continue to learn. Can't level up with Ares, of course. So, I mean, let's have a look at that. So, Divine Will. Oh, Ares, we don't actually have that very high right now. Even though that's the thing we decided to build, which is kind of ridiculous. But the extra charge of infantry units wielding two-handed weapons, and the extra damage of infantry wielding two-handed weapons, it's just... Yeah, we really need to keep Ares sweet, that's for sure. Although, we are about to do that. We are about to do that, because we're about to take over this place. Which goes 450, which is I shall. pretty good. It's a pretty, pretty good chunk. Um, now let's get... Uh, so this is... Rage cost of 50, they still cost that anyway. Um, so that's lower armor, melee defense and attack. That's lower armor, melee defense and attack for 60 seconds instead of 40. Or, this is an aura... Rather than, I guess, a single target that this one is? I think? Oh yeah, there we go. So, effect range of 40. So that's really good. So we can debuff a whole clump of enemies, which is far better, frankly. Okay. Of Egypt. Let's go get them. Excellent. And while you are loitering there, the what we can now do is have a look at the Mythic Expedition. And we can't afford the second tier. So this is going to cost us a huge amount of our wealth. But I don't care. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. Uh, we are going to do this. Because we need to start this mission. We really do. So we're going to call the expedition. So this is for the uh, the, the water majigger. The, the, the bird lad. Griffin. That's the one. For the griffin. So that's very fun. So we're going to get the griffin and check it out. Uh, jet staff bearers will be in our army. So that's really cool. I like this a lot. This is great. So, launch expedition. We need to select... Oh, I need to select a hero. Silly me. I thought maybe we couldn't afford it. But no, we can afford it. We can afford it. So, uh, Takola is a fighter, a champion, or a vanquisher, or a skirmisher, or a mentor, or a warmonger. I'm not really sure who we want to send. I don't know the difference between these different, um, these different ones. And hovering over any of it doesn't tell us what they do, which I wish that wasn't the case. Um, although, I guess a warmonger or ravager or something, I mean, maybe I could just go with a champion. That that sounds less like I need to butcher people or enslave them or something constantly, but we are raising every settlement, so like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure he'll be happy. So we'll, we'll just go with Tacola here. We'll go with Tacola. The champion. The fighter champion. That'll do. Are you ready to spend these resources and begin the expedition? Sure am. Create a horde army. Oh, I did that. Excellent. I like that we actually got credit for doing that, even though we didn't really create an army. Just one exists in a UI somewhere. Uh, so, Mythic Expedition underway. Preparations have been made and the expedition has started on its journey. Your followers can barely imagine the hardships they will face or the companions they will meet along the way. Every few turns, a message to the expedition will arrive, recounting their travails in the quest for glory. And we've got a trait already. Expedition Commander for Tacola. We shall scatter and attack them at their weakest. 
So this army cannot reinforce or be reinforced currently. Outnumbered and far from his home, this hero relies on cunning and speed to compensate for the lack of fortifications. So he will regain 30% of his campaign movement range after raising a settlement, plus 8% to campaign movement range, and plus 15% success for ambushes. Okay. Interesting. Not sure how that really plays out. Um, yeah, I think we continue the siege. And I just realised we are actually getting replenishment even though we are besieging this place, which is wild. I didn't think that was a thing that happened. But apparently it does, and I'll take it. I don't know what he's doing still. And he's just waiting. Like, if I was if I was Sparta, I would just follow us around. And just take over all the ruins, you know? I mean, why not? I say why not, because you're taking over ruins. No one lives there. So, you know, who would you populate it with? I guess just people fleeing from the countryside? In which case, you have a horrible, uh, like, a horrible dilemma of just trying to get everyone fed and everything. It's just, yeah, it's not beneficial to just take over all that territory. I'm not saying people shouldn't. Absolutely, people should, you know, take over these places. But remember, these are all a bunch of ridiculous warlords, all, you know, vying for supremacy. I don't think they really care to... Um, take on such, you know, huge humanitarian work. But hey, maybe we've misjudged Menelaus and uh, Demolion. Critical success, poisoning the well. Can you stop poisoning my well? It's a right hassle. Uh, okay, one more turn and they'll be more injured and we'll get more replenishment. Do I need to prolong this so much? Probably not. Do I care? Nope. It's a turn. Turns nothing. We have we have infinite of those. Turns are a resource we have an abundance. That and uh, the more we prolong things, the more likely we are to get our uh, Griffin to come help us out before we do our next big objective. So isn't that nice? So your expedition has made camp on the outskirts of the Illyrian lands, beyond the farthest northern reaches of Achaea. The world is already different from what you know, full of light rain and deep green forests. The smell of rich loam. Yet, this is just the beginning. Your goal lies even farther away, near the outermost bounds of the world as your people know it, where rivers flow with gold and gemstones, and the cliffs and caves reverberate with the cries of fantastical beasts. One of them is your quarry, the Griffin. Your journey will be difficult, and the battle, at the end, even more so. Steal yourself and make preparations. So, uh, accept a special gift from tribesmen. Okay, you're sure that whatever help you get from these savages, it won't hurt you. Scout ahead, it will take a toll on the warriors, but battles have been won by preparation alone. Uh, tactical training in the forests and mud. The inhospitable land is not easy to tame. The warriors will hurt, but they'll be stronger for it. Or take provisions from the neighbouring tribes. Your army will have less warriors, fewer warriors, but you'll be ready to face difficulties ahead. Interesting. Um, both of these sound more appealing, I think. Um... I mean, scouting ahead sounds like that would be beneficial. Um, but training? So um, units would be better? If that's going to give, like, some units experience, I don't think that's going to make a huge amount of difference in the grand scheme of things. So let's go with scout ahead. Am I going to be tired? Grace, that's terrible. So increase fatigue to all units of the hero's army. Uh, scouting, plus 30% to missile resistance for all units. Interesting. And our units gain experience. So neither the weather nor the people in this region are on your side. You order a rotation of your units, sending some ahead to establish footholds. As the others catch up, it is slow and pain, uh, painstaking going. Many of your people are nursing bruises, sprains and scratches from the heavy trekking. But you feel much better prepared to seize the advantage when you face potential enemies. I mean, it doesn't sound like it was worthwhile. Somehow. Then I guess it didn't sound worthwhile because we haven't bumped into something that, you know that a heads up has been beneficial for, right? It's it's one of those things, it's just a cost. It's like paying for insurance, you know? It's gonna it's gonna cost you, but on the occasion that you need it, you're gonna need it, right? So let's uh yeah, let's just auto resolve that, that's fine. They're injured enough. Nicely done. Ooh. Nice little jump stab there. Lovely. Lost 101. Not too bad. Uh, so, growth or... Let's just go more resources, I think. This city is no more. 
And Ares loved that. Loved it. Hated that place. Hates hates up terror. Hates it. So, uh, a certain degree of renown conserves one's purpose is admirably. And a bullhorn. Ooh. Plus 15% to charge of all units in this army. I want that. I want that equipped. Uh, I want that equipped now. Let's 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 do that. Wow, we have a lot of nonsense. Um gains extra speed while on a chariot, thanks to flesh eating horses. These carnivorous mounts make excellent war horses. They ravenously attack the foe after they charge. They are ideal for carrying a warrior armed with a long bronze spear. Well, isn't that fun? Bronze dagger, extra melee attack. Do we need six melee attack? It's pretty minimal. Bullhorn sounds better. Buff all our units. Um, extra motivation, morale doesn't really matter. Basic armor. We've never found any armor. How weird is that? Uh, so we have the ash... Uh, the iron ash club. So extra 60 to melee damage, but our, our melee damage is 2,000, so 60 is not massive. Uh, this will actually add to the armor piercing of the hero, and it'll also add damage to our javelin units, which might actually be better. So let's go with that. Cool. Yeah, that bullhorn, though. Brilliant. Is that equipped yet? Yeah, 85 charge bonus. That's insane. <laughs> that is so high. So high. Alright, let's get over here. To Kaidonia. Alright, let's crack on. Hostile agent activity. Poison the whale success. Can you guys stop? Troy recovered. Little by little. Troy is recovered from the earthquake sent by Poseidon to tear down his ramparts. Troy's garrison is functional once more and artisans have patched most of the damage to its mighty walls. The city is safe for now, but there is no telling when the ill-tempered Olympian will strike again. For now, that the battlements again stand proud, the fury of the god of the depths will surely return unabated. In defense of Troy. Yeah, he really hates Troy. Remember your training. And uh, we don't know. We, we love Troy. Currently. In this campaign we do. In others, eh. Uh, so I think we're just going to encircle... Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, no, it's a, it's a... One of these. One of these fun little minor settlement battles without the walls. These are actually... I like these. I like these a lot. Um, let's fight it. Screw it. Let's fight it. Yeah, weather conditions are fine. Thanks. Um, I might just, like, charge these guys in. Through this way. Just the big charge bonuses and uh, Memnon to take up the damage. Maybe the Griffin as well. And then everyone else can just start pushing into the various other um, various other spots. That could be fun. <laughs> I love, I love how I'm, just, I'm right here, you know, ready to, ready to kill. Let's put you guys there. Uh, you know, we should probably just put you in a couple of rows, right? Probably. That was... That was not what I wanted. Okay. Although, probably better to put you in a... More of a sort of a flanking position, right? Probably. Uh, and then you guys can't vanguard, so I guess you can just um, go over there. Cool. I mean, you guys can vanguard, but I, I don't want you to. I, mean, I don't want you to do that. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to run in there either. I'll run in with them. <gasps> oh my. They're being rude. Let's step back. Alright guys, you go get those shield spearmen. Alright, good boys. Okay, you move back. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Yeah, I think they can handle it. Let's, uh, let's get the chariot in the middle. And, yeah, this is all going great. Uh, start attacking this guy. In fact, let's charge in with them. Let's charge in with them. Cool. Yeah, you guys having a whale of a time. And, yeah, that charge bonus is going to do some good work. I mean, these guys are pretty, um, pretty good defensive unit with their spears and everything. But, uh, I think these guys are doing well already. Yeah, wow, they basically need to charge. They've got 38 kills already. And I think they're all going to be gone in a second. Oh, okay. No, they're holding out pretty well, actually. Okay. Let's go chase them down. 
And oh my, hi. Hey there. Hey there, sailor. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's move. That's boogie. And yeah, you guys have a whale of a time. And you lots haven't killed your way through these guys yet. Oh, yeah. Get in there, though. Get in there. I mean, charging straight into Spearman probably wasn't the best use of them, but... <laughs> Turns out that was the best guarded spot. If I was here and got some ranged attacks and got the enemy to charge out, I could have flanked and wiped them out easily. I mean, you guys just... Okay. Bye. Uh, you go deal with them. Oh, wow. They didn't even want to fight anyone when I ran off there. Huh? That's interesting. So, who's still alive? Oh, yeah, okay, they got gobbled up. And that's army losses? Now it is. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ghosts charging in. Yes, totally. They're weird. Um, so, decisive victory. Alright, job well done. Uh, let's go with the casualty replenishment rate. I feel like we've got some good techs and things. And skill points that are that are making our guys good fighters. I don't think we need the little little bonuses from that. Although the extra resources would be probably quite appreciated, but uh, Lead arrows, huh? Plus nine percent armor piercing damage and missile units, the hero's army. That's really good too. Ooh, maybe I want to equip that. Let's have a look. Equipment. Is it one of these? Can I swap this out? Uh, influence and motivation. Completely pointless. Let's give you lead arrows. Perfect. Lovely stuff. Alright, keep moving. So we're about to wipe out this faction, I think. I think this is the only settlement they have left. This it is their is capital now, so... Um, likely, yes. Hang on, if I exit here, is that gonna... No, it's not. There's no quick way to get to... Um... So in, in Total Warhammer, right? You can double click on a faction, it'll open up the diplomacy screen, and then you can close diplomacy with them and it'll just have the diplomacy window open with them still highlighted and you can see how many factions, you know, any, uh, how many settlements they have left. Now you need to actually go through this way and there we go, it's, it is these guys, right? Yeah, it is. So one, one settlement. Cool. It also doesn't say settlement anywhere, it just says one. You have to hover over that so it'll tell you what this means. Which is weird. Yeah, you know, why wouldn't it have a header that would tell you something? I don't know. It's odd. Whatever. We also have embed informant, by the way. So we can do this and see all of Menelaus's troops. It'll cost two hundred gold, which is quite a lot. But uh, we have quite a lot of gold now, so you know, it's tempting, is all I'm saying. Um, so yeah, infantry with two-handed weapons. Another 10% damage. That puts these guys up to 122 damage. That's nuts. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> 97 charge bonus. <laughs> it's obscene. Absolutely obscene. 100 charge bonus. Like That's that's like Dragon Princes or something. That's wild. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it for the turn. Uh, what missions have we got? So yeah, Etis, which is where we're headed to. I mean, I'll probably destroy that first, we'll see. Although, maybe not, because it. Uh, we'll see what resource is there. Okay, we'll see what resource is on the way. But, um, that's fine. And then there's Unlock Megiddo, which is the Canaanite Brothers Royal Decree, which we do need to do. And fully upgrade a Horde Army, which... You know what? How have we not got there yet? Seriously. We just need more wood. We need a lot more wood, but we need more wood. Which, that will grant us. Yeah, that will grant us enough to be able to do that. So, until then, maybe I should just see what else I can build. Ooh, that costs gold, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get the extra 1% uh, melee damage and missile damage for all our units. Up to 20%. 1% per follower. It's very, very cool to have. And more treasures and things. Sounds kind of nice. Uh, more unit capacity for slingers and such. Or there's this one for better mythic units, which... Will be useful when it is, but right now, meh. Just meh. 
Uh, so what's this one? Extra 10% from raising. That sounds good too. I think it's a good investment. And then that will give us 5,000 wood, which is enough to get the main settlement building upgrade. No, it's not. Well, we'll get some more just for the battle anyway, so that should be fine. Ah, meet the Illyrians. You have started the arduous journey, journey through Illyria. The weather is not on your side, and neither are the locals. Wild, godless tribes, death cults, and savages. And when they seem to know of, uh, know of the Olympian gods, they know of them in strange ways, and their stories of them are poor in wisdom and rich in bloody sacrifice. As you near the territory of a coalition of tribes known for their particularly bloodthirsty war chief, you awaken one morning to find the man himself and a full complement of well-armed warriors waiting outside the boundaries of your camp. They don't appear impressed by what they see. The dark words, the dark woods all around rustle ominously. We can't offer them a special gift because we don't have one. We do not have the slave gift in the expedition. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, challenge them. If you have properly prepared your warriors, by all means, show these savages what you're made of. Or accede to their demands. Your warriors won't be happy about running away from these miscreants. But you'll be able to continue unscathed. Unscathed? Really? Is this going to affect leadership, maybe? Are we just going to have, like, a horrible morale debuff? Is that what it's going to be? If we challenge them, we might have to do a, do a battle. And then lose a bunch of health. Or possibly units. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, let's challenge them. Let's challenge them. I think, um... Yeah, these, these, these savages. And death cults. Etc. Yeah, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should challenge them. They might respect it and give us, I don't know, a pile of wives. I don't know. Show of force. Plus 50% charge of all units, and we're going to gain experience. Hell yeah. Awesome. A few days ago, your scouts returned with news of a certain meadow and a brook flowing around it, where some of the local women and children go to wash and play. So, like I said, we'll end up with a, with a pile of wives. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> while you wait for your warriors to bring some of them, you say, Oh. Oh, Okay. Yeah, actually, we, we were going to go collect a bunch of wives. Fine. Fine. It's, um... Yep. You say, uh, you will go. Now, back to your villagers. Some of you will find everything as before, and you will be relieved. Others will find their wives or children missing. They are not. But only if I give the sign to my men to let them go when we leave your lands. Otherwise, next you'll meet them on the other side of the sticks, or in whatever hole... You godless beasts excrete your souls but, uh, your souls when you die. Your captives are now here. The Illyrians have no choice. Eventually, you cross their lands without trouble. So the fact that we scouted um, ahead of ourselves, you know, in the previous, in the previous um, uh, event, it meant that we actually had leverage on these guys, thanks to the scouting. So that's really interesting. So yeah, that gave us a bunch of... Uh, yeah, a bunch of good... Good stuff there, though it's a bit of a shame to weaponize, <laughs> weaponize women and children. Um, not, not a great. I mean, it's the age of heroes, but it, ugh, no, horrible, just horrible nonsense. So, okay, this. I mean, we have so much, just so much additional bonuses just from all the divine support. It's great. All right, so it's going to be one turn before they start suffering attrition, but, I mean, look at the balance of power. There's just no need. Time to test our skill. See? No need at all. Okay, so kill and raise. Or, I mean, this will give us more resources, which, um, yeah, this I'm going to go for that. No more. Uh... Etolicus's shield, we apparently Memnon has equipped that. I guess that's our first armor, isn't it? We hadn't found armor yet. So, extra melee defense. It's not great. It's not a great shield, but it'll do. We're at rank 20 now, which is very cool. Um, I like with hordes that you are so pressed to like keep attacking things that you level up real quick. So, extra armor for the hero and missile resist, or... Extra mor oh, the frightening one I thought was quite fun. Let's go with that. Because if we can break the enemy, then that's fine for us because we can outrun the enemy. We have fast units, you know. Our units are very quick on their feet. So as they flee, we can uh, we can just chop them down, basically. Which, um, you know, lovely. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? All right, let's get over here then. It's going to take a little while. That's fine. 
fine by me. You know, we still got our missions to go. Alright. Now, let's move up here. And, uh, I just realised. Just, just, that's fine. I realised, we've wasted a turn, but I don't care. I want to get this built. I concur. And he concurs, so, you know, you guys can't, you can't at me. Uh, we can also get this build. Extra campaign movement range. Which, yeah, brilliant. Also, this is huge. I didn't realize it gave extra armor and charge bonuses and all sorts. This is dope. All right, let's get that. Marching drums. Um, so this is where we're going to leave it, though. This is where we're going to leave it. But we've uh, completed uh, this continent. I say completed. Basically, we've given this continent to our nemesis. <laughs> I guess we've given the ruins of this continent to our nemesis, Medelaeus, who we have come to support our cousins against. So it's a it's a weird one. It's a bit odd how this has happened, how it's played out, but it is what it is. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.